I've always wanted to do this. I think I figured it out. Well, I wouldn't say I figured it out. Really, it was shown to me more than anything else. It's the one thing still keeping people apart today. And it's not a virus. <sighs> Have you ever shopped for a car? and all of a sudden you see, start seeing this car everywhere. You see it out in town, you see it driving at the grocery store. You saw something, and all of a sudden you start noticing it everywhere. There's this pretty well-known psychologist by the name of Brene Brown. I'm a qualitative researcher. I collect stories. That's what I do. I've done tons of studies and written books and talks. You can see some of her TED Talks. I'll link to them up here. She recently published a podcast. And she talks about the dehumanization rampant through the country right now. Really what it is Dehumanization is a response to conflicting motives. When we want to do harm to a group of people, when we want to put them down, get rid of them, silence them, it's pretty difficult actually because it goes against our wiring as members of a social species to actually harm, kill, devalue, torture, or degrade other human beings. We're not wired for it. In your mind, it's creating an image of another person, another religion, another political party. In your mind, you're making that group subhuman. Oh, it's kind of played a big part of some of the nasty parts of our history, whether it's in slavery or the Holocaust or genocide in parts around the world. But as I mentioned earlier, like when you're shopping for that car, I started seeing it everywhere. So Mays defines dehumanization as the psychological process of demonizing the enemy, making them less than human and hence not worthy of humane treatment. So let's talk about that. As we take sides, as we lose trust and we get angrier and angrier, we solidify an idea of our enemy. It becomes harder and harder to listen to the enemy who we framed as the enemy, harder to communicate, and almost impossible to practice any empathy with this enemy image because we've dehumanized it. We've just shamed it out of its humanity. Once I my eyes were open to it, I started seeing it everywhere. And her point in the podcast was dehumanizing and shaming a group of people is not the way to help them understand. Go find that podcast and listen to it. Look up the podcast specifically on dehumanization. I've actually saved it because I think it's just phenomenal. And once you hear that, once you, you really let it set in, you start seeing it everywhere. And I don't know about you, but I don't wanna be someone who perpetuates something like that. So I'm right there with Brene Brown and, and I'm not gonna 
pretend that I can say it better than she does, so, so go look her up. It's called Unlocking Us with Brene Brown. I think that's the one thing that's keeping us apart. It's that dehumanization. It's not the virus, it's that.